Hello friends, this is Teacher JV. Today we are studying English with a short story. And the title of the story is Two Boys and a Baseball. Two Boys and a Baseball. First, listen to the audio. Billy plays catch with a baseball and a baseball glove. He plays catch with his friend. His friend has a glove too. Billy throws the ball to his friend. His friend catches the ball in his glove. His friend throws the ball back to Billy. Billy catches the ball in his glove. The ball goes back and forth. Now let us practice vocabulary. The first one, back. Back and back spells B A C K back. And next one baseball. Baseball. Baseball spells B A S E B A L L baseball. And next one Bill E. Billy and Billy spells B I L L Y Billy. And since it is a name. We use a capital letter and Billy. And as you see the picture, this is called Billy as well. But this one you use a lowercase. Billy. Next one, catch. Catch. Catch spells C A T C H. Catch. Next one, fourth. Fourth. Fourth spells. F O R T H. Fourth. Next one, friend. Friend. Friend is spelled F R I E N D. Friend. And next one, love. Love. And love spells G L O V E. Glove. And next one, goals. Goals. And goals spells G O E S. And as you know, goals is a third person form of go. And then this sounds go. And this sounds goes. The next one, play. Play. And play spells P L A Y. Play. Next one, throw. Throw. And throw spells P A. R O W throw back baseball Billy catch fourth friend glove goes play throw now let us read the story Billy plays catch with a baseball and a baseball glove. He plays catch with his friend. His friend has a glove too. Billy throws the ball to his friend. His friend catches the ball in his glove. His friend throws the ball back to Billy. Billy catches the ball in his glove. The ball goes back and forth. Let's read the story one more time. Billy plays catch with a baseball and a baseball glove. He plays catch with his friend. His friend has a glove too. Billy throws the ball to his friend. His friend catches the ball in his glove. His friend throws the ball back to Billy. Billy catches the ball in his glove. The ball goes back and forth. Now let us do the story in past tense. Past tense of play is played, P L A Y E D, and it sounds d, played. Next one, played, and has had. Throw, throw is an irregular verb, so it's going to be T H R E W, through. And catch is an irregular verb as well. C A U G H T. And you pronounce it as 
cut, catch, cut, grow, grow, and then catch, cut, C-A-U-G-H-T, and as you know, G-H is silent, it sounds like R, uh, say, cut. The last one goes, the past tense is went. Okay, let's read the story in past tense. He played catch with a baseball and a baseball glove. He played catch with his friend. His friend had a glove too. Billy threw the ball to his friend. His friend caught the ball in his glove. His friend threw, threw the ball back to Billy. Billy caught the ball in his glove. The ball went back and forth. Now let us listen to the audio one more time. Billy plays catch with a baseball and a baseball glove. He plays catch with his friend. His friend has a glove too. Billy throws the ball to his friend. His friend catches the ball in his glove. His friend throws the ball back to Billy. Billy catches the ball in his glove. The ball goes back and forth. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another short story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.